Hi, welcome to Sunnycroft Farms. We are the McDonald family located in Milford, Nova Scotia. The farm was started in 1949 by George Alistair Jakeman and has been in our family ever since. We are a dairy farm where we milk about 50 cows in a robotic milking facility. Our cows are housed in a freestall barn where they get to walk around freely. They have sand bedded stalls to lay down in. This is one of our cows entering the robot to be milked. She can come whenever she feels like. Some of our cows are milked two times per day, others three, some four or five. The robot identifies the cow by a special tag that she wears around her neck. The first step in milking the cow is cleaning each teat. This is the wash cup. Once she's clean, then the milking units are put on. This is the view of the cow in the stall from the holding area where she waits to go in. As you can see, her head is down because she's eating grain. This is made up of corn, soybeans, other grains, vitamins, and minerals. It's balanced for her energy needs. The milk from each cow is pumped into a large holding tank in our milk room, which you can see here. The milk truck comes every two days to pick it up from our farm. And it doesn't matter what the weather is like. We make all of our corn and grass silage here on the farm. This is our first cut grass silage being cut by a custom harvester. We pack the grass into big piles on the ground, cover them with plastic, and weight them down with tires and sand. We grow corn where we cut the whole plant and make it into silage as well. This is cut in the fall. We also make large square bales of silage. We mow the grass, rake it into rows, and bale it up with the large square baler. To preserve the bales, we have to wrap them in plastic. We can wrap two bales at a time and make long lines of tubes. Both the bales and the plastic and the piles of grass and, and corn silage on the ground have to go through a process called ensiling. This is what keeps the silage fresh for the cows to eat all year long. We take our grass and corn silage and mix it in with another feed, which has more vitamins and minerals in it and feed it to the cows about four times per day. Our cows lay down on this side of the barn into stalls which are bedded with sand. Here the skid steer is adding more sand to the stalls. We do this once a week. You can also see the alley scraper running. This scrapes the barn out every two to three hours. All of the manure that is scraped out of the barns is stored into a manure pit and spread on the fields in the spring and fall of the year. Manure is a great source of nutrients for our crops. Thanks for joining us at Sunnycroft Farms for Open Farm Day 2021.